G'day guys. So we've looked at a lot of traps in Ark Survival Evolved. Some are practical, but some are purely for entertainment. And this new trap fits firmly in that latter category. So the mechanism that it makes use of is the shag rugs. And the fact that an unconscious body will fall straight through them. Anyway, so I was just going to build the simplest version for the tutorial, but then I thought I'll just build the full version that I built on the official servers which was a 5x3 foundation building. So place three foundations, then one back up the centre, and drop two foundations next to that, down one level. So put a pillar in the centre of the foundation, and find the lower snap points next to it. I do keep forgetting that you can just pick them up now. So lay down the 5x3 foundation, all the other foundations at the normal height. Okay, so now off the lowered foundations, build two walls up. And one ceiling in. And then you can level off the foundation. Now we need to build the other wall up three squares, leaving a gap too wide at the back. And don't build off the front foundations just yet, nor the lowered walls. Now start building the ceiling in along the top. Now fill in the gap above the lowered walls, but hang this wall off the ceiling. That way there's no gap and everything looks smooth and flush. and filling the rest of the ceiling. Okay, so now for the rest of the internal ceiling. We should be one level higher than the one we've already placed. So make sure they're snapping to them side walls, so they're a bit higher. Now I'll start building the front end on. You can do this any way you want, I'm just replicating the one that I built on the officials. So I'll slap two doors down and a railing in the centre as a viewing window. And build the sides up to the ceiling. Now build walls around the front foundations with another door in the centre. Now I'm going to ceiling this with slope ceilings, so 
which will act as a ramp so the intruder can get up to the entrance. And a couple of ramps up each side. Now on the second floor, one ceiling at the front. I'll just slap some doors in. And now I can hang a ball down above that railing. Again, forget to pick it up. Now there needs to be a way of getting dinos into that bottom floor. So I'm going to put a dino gate at the back. Although the new double doors may suffice, depending on what you want to put in there. Maybe put some ramps down first too. Another couple doorways just immediately inside the entrance. Lay another ceiling at the back. If that's obstructed, it's because you put the um, dino gate in first. You may need to demolish that. Okay, so now we need to put a couple catwalks along the side of the hole. But you'll notice one's obstructed. That's because it's trying to go in a bit lower. So to get around that, level off the ceiling on the low side. Put the catwalk on the higher snap point, and then demol then we'll pick up that ceiling that you just placed. And now you've got the two even catwalks. And now I'm going to cover over that gap with the shag rugs. So the catwalks are there so we can get this second line of shag rugs in, yet they'll sit at the same height as the others. This last one's the only one that's a little bit tricky, so you have to put it as far forward as possible, so they meet in the centre. Okay, so now even though the hole's covered, I'd like to put a couple more. 
just to extend it out a bit in case someone decides to break one of the rugs just to see what's underneath. Unfortunately, when rugs were released, they were actually metal structures, which made sense, as you could do whatever you want on them, as they just become part of the floor. But they did ruin that in a patch and made them thatch structures now, so they can be destroyed. With a pick or an axe. Okay, so two more doorways, this time at the lowest ceilings. But hang them off the top ceiling. Filling the rest of the sides with straight walls. Now at the end of the corridor we need to lay some bait, so I'm going to put a smithy down. Align that with the front edge of that rear square. Don't put it too far back. And another thing that you want to do is hang some walls out into the corridor above the catwalks. That'll stop them falling down onto those catwalks. You might want to do the forward doors as well. You do want doors in all the doorways. And I threw a locker room at the back, just to store the things used to reset the trap. Slap these two rear doors down, but leave them open. Okay, so the trap is now made. Now just to set it. So you're going to need narcotic tripwires and trip alarms as well if you want to be notified when it's gone off. So throw them both down without moving so they're both in the same spot. So they're both triggered at the same time. Make sure you're missing them catwalks with the tripwire or they won't be connected. Always check them to make sure they say that they're connected. And as you can see, the lowered ceilings were used to conceal the tripwire, so it can't be seen. Now to conceal the rest we can just use storage boxes. You can't just shut the door or the gas traps won't work. They won't penetrate doors or walls, but they will penetrate storage boxes. Keep them pushed up tight in the doorway so they don't have any room to walk into that door. And now just make sure these doors are shut and it's all ready to be triggered. But there is one more thing to do just to guarantee you get a capture. When gas traps are triggered they have a slight bit of time and if they're really fast they can run back out before passing out. So what I'm going to do is use some slope ceilings and the overhang, which is usually a real pain in the ass. I'm going to use it to make them duck. They won't have enough time to crawl out. And it's not a finished trap until it has a sign. Now the trap's all ready to go now until someone comes along. They duck to get past the slope ceilings, trying to get to the smithy. Trigger the traps, you can't run out, and they disappear underneath.
So she's going to be knocked out for some time. Four and a half minutes to be exact. She has ten fortitude. I'm not sure how much that affects her. Right? Anyway, test subject number two. He knew it was a trap, but he didn't know how he was going to be trapped. I just told him to loot the smithy. And again, this is the same trap, just cut down to be a bit more basic. Without that big dino pen on the bottom. Anyway guys, before we finish off this video, we better go look at the official server trap. Anyway, this is going back a ways. The video is date stamped 30th of September 2018 of course. <laughs> it's weird whenever a trap goes off on the servers, I always stop and look in the direction of where the trap is. Even though there's no chance of me actually seeing what's over there. I was after bloody handcuffs, not a laser attachment. So the trap's not far away, it's just over the water here. So this is the official Cosby business. And there's Bill there with his latest victim. So Bill's set to only target conscious. So he won't attack them when they're knocked out. And like before, they're knocked out for about five minutes. From that one narcotic trap. So Bill's got his candy clubs out. A man is with clubs or one tap anyone, no matter what armour they're wearing. The downside is they do do a fair bit of damage with those clubs though. <laughs> oh, Bill's not going to put up with that. So stupid. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Bill <laughs> finally put her out of her misery. So as you can see, Bill... <laughs> Bill has taken a few victims, but they don't get to exit though. <laughs> it's so dramatic. She put up a fight this one with a wood shield, but Bill is insatiable. Anyway, as I said, I made that video about six months ago now, but it still works fine. Um, the next video is probably another trap video. I've got a few of those to get out. So look out for that. And subscribe and click that bloody notification bell. As you may know now that I don't put out videos very regularly.